Hey guys, sorry, I hope you're fine. Uh, my stuck Ida hook here. I am making this video because I am just pissed. Um, today is December 23rd, and tomorrow my mom and I were invited to kind of a, a, a diner, a party. And so we have to buy gifts and bring stuff. So today my mom told me, okay, you go and you buy your stuff. And so I was like, okay, I'll do it. And then um, I asked her, can I also go buy a book? And she said, yeah, you can. So I went, I bought my book. And then I, fr from the library, I had to take a bus to go to the, the supermarket. And I did. And so when I got on the bus, there was a guy that he was standing uh, behind me, right behind me. And I was like, okay, whatever, there's people standing everywhere. So when I got inside the bus, I sat down and that guy sat down right next to me, just as I sat down. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then he sat down and he put his hand on his knee but then he started moving it closer to my knee and I was like okay so uh, because I bought the book I started reading, reading the book on the bus and I saw what the guy was doing and I was like if you do something creepy I'm gonna kick your ass and so he had his hand there and because I have this big ass jacket I couldn't see if he was moving his hand or not. So whenever I felt something on my knee, I would, I would just like pretend I was reading to see if he was moving his hand. And I never caught him until the very last minute that I did. And I saw how that bastard was moving his hand to touch my knee. And I just lost it. And I, I was like, Shit. Okay, I just hope I didn't break, break the Christmas present. And so I saw him moving his hand on purpose towards my knee. And I said, excuse me, can you move your hand? It's uncomfortable. And oh, before that, I was kind of moving my legs to see if it was my imagination or if he was actually doing it. And so there was a point that I couldn't move any further. And that's when I told him, excuse me, move your fucking hand off of me. And he was like, oh, yeah, 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 okay, oh, of course. I was like, so I kept reading. And I kept reading, and huh, that's my bus? No, okay. So I kept reading. And then when we got to the last stop, that was the one that I have to get off, um, he used one of he used the boss's like main exit and I used the secondary one and then he turned around and he kind of looked at me like why aren't you using this exit? Okay, so uh, my phone died but I am going to finish this story because I want you guys to know what happened so I don't know you can share this video and and maybe we can do something about this because I am pissed so I forgot to say that the guy on the bus he was around his 40s 50s he was a grown-up man and he was doing that. And so when we got off the bus, he turned around and he realized that I wasn't going to Etsy through the same Etsy he was doing it. And so he turned around and he looked at me kind of saying, are you going to use this Etsy? And I didn't look at him. And I was like, nope, I want to get the heck away from you as, fa as fast as I can. And so I did that. And so I went to this kind of like, this building and it, and it has like a like a supermarket and a pharmacy and several other it, it's kind of a mall and so I went to the mall and I had to buy like some uh, uh, Christmas presents and all that kind of stuff and one of the things that I had to buy was something for my mom and um, they sell it at the pharmacy so I went to the pharmacy I bought it and then from the pharmacy I had to go to the supermarket and buy some food and so when I uh, um, when I did that, I had, no, yeah, when I did that, I was walking to the supermarket with my bags, and so there was this guy that, you know when you look at a guy, or, or a person, let's say, a person, and you think they're drunk, 
or they're in drugs and you just ignore them because you don't want any trouble. So that's what I did. There was a guy that he was walking right next to me when I got out of the pharmacy. He was walking right next to me and he looked like he was drunk and he was walking like if he was drunk. And so I don't, I don't, at the end, I don't know if he was drunk or not, but I kept walking faster so I could get away from him. And he kept looking at me. He was he, like, he was just walking next to me. He was walking really weird and he was just looking at me and I was just ignoring him. And so when I arrived at the supermarket, he was going to the supermarket as well, or I don't even know if he was going to the supermarket or if he was going because I was going. But the thing is that, he went into the supermarket and there was like these two bars that you had to push in order for you to enter. And so because he went inside before me, he went through the bars and he hold them so I could pass. And because, you know, I was taught to be polite, I said thank you the first time that he pushed the first bar. And when he did the same thing with the second bar, I said thank you again. And then when he was inside the mall, uh, in, inside the supermarket, he stepped away so I could go in because I was in a hurry. And maybe he noticed that. And so he let me, he, he let me walk past him. And because he did that for the third and last time, I said, thank you. And so when I said, thank you, that fucker said, oh my God, he said, hi, mommy. And I just walked. Like, he was so lucky that I was on a rush. Okay, okay, um, move it on. Um, he, yeah, he was so lucky I was on a rush because I needed to buy these things and I needed to get home early, well, early. He was so lucky that I didn't turn around and said all the things he needed to hear because honestly, what the fuck do you think was gonna happen? That I was gonna say, oh yes, please continue, please, please keep calling me like that because it turns me on so much, like just let me w open my legs wide open so you can do to me whatever your dirty mind is thinking of doing to me, no. What the fuck do you honestly think was gonna happen? That I was gonna say that? That I was gonna let you do whatever you wanted to do with me? No. You know why? Because that's called harassment. And you don't have to do that. You are not supposed to do that. And that just pissed me off. And I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't know if that guy went into the supermarket because I was going there or, or I don't know, but I just ignore him. I went and I buy my stuff and I couldn't just, I couldn't just, think of anything else rather than how pissed I was at these two guys and as you can see like I just have leggings a sweater and I had the biggest jacket the only thing that these guys could see were my hands my neck and my face that's all they could see so you can't say oh but maybe you were dressed up in a provocative way no my, my, my mom literally called me like at, at noon and she said, I need you to do this. And because we don't have a car, I have to use the bus. So that means I'm going to be outside for a couple of hours. And so I just took the first thing I found that it was this big sweater because look, big sweater. And then these leggings because of the warmth. Okay. I have like a, like a warm thing underneath and that happened. And so, um, I was, I was actually... I kind of finished telling this at the bus station, but my phone died, so it didn't save the video. And while I was recording that, another guy, even older, oh, because the guy in the supermarket was also the same age as the guy in the bus, a third guy, that he was probably in his 90s, and, 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 and okay, he was an, an, an Arabian guy, Hindu, I don't know, like, an Indian guy, and he just had, like, the long beard, and he was white and he was just creepy and he had the thing in his head and I'm not trying to sound racist or anything but he was older than the other guys that's the point and he was looking at me in the same way these guys did while I was talking about this and I am just so pissed that this is happening because why the heck like why do you have to do that like I talked about this in five things boys do that a girl doesn't understand and I did it in a funny way but honestly this shouldn't be happening not to me not to any girl okay why do you have to harass us I don't get it like I don't know what I'm going to do next time maybe like I'm gonna tell my mom what happened maybe I'm not gonna tell her that the first guy was 
touching me because she's gonna freak out and then she's gonna give me a sermon and that's the last thing I wanna hear. But maybe I'll tell her what happened and I'm going to convince her to let me buy a fake gun and I'm going to have it in my purse the entire time and whenever a guy does that same shit, I'm gonna be like, you motherfucker, you start looking at me because I'm gonna put a hole in your head, okay? You understand? So get the fuck away from me. Or I'm gonna slap him be without warning. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm just so pissed. And this is, this, guys, it's the day before Christmas. I shouldn't be this pissed about what people do. Like, honestly, I was just reading a book in the bus. And a guy was, a guy thought that I was just going to open my legs wide open for him. And he was touching my leg. Another guy was looking at me while I was on my way to the supermarket. And then a third guy was looking at me in the same creepy way at the bus station. There's no place safe. And it's happened to me before, but this day, it, like, when I say it's happened to me before, it's like, guys just looking, you know? But today it was just too much. And people need to know that we don't like that happening, okay? We don't like when this happens. We don't like when guys harass us on the street. We just don't. So stop doing it. Like, I swear to God, if I don't have that fake gun, I'm going to slap them. I'm going to kick their balls. And I'm going to make them feel pain. Because that's just what they deserve. Like, honestly. If they're on the bus, I'm going to make them get off the bus in whatever stop they are. I don't care if not if, if it's not their stop. I'm going to make them pay. And the thing is, when I told the guy, like, the guy on the bus, can you move your hand? It's uncomfortable. I wish... I could have talked louder because I wanted everyone on that bus to look at him like the perv bastard he is. I'm just really pissed and I just wanted to let you guys know what happened so I can spread the voice about what this is going on because honestly, I don't I don't I don't I don't know what what else I can say. Honestly. Cuz I just I I wasn't dressed in a provocative way. I wasn't doing anything to call their, their attention. I was literally just reading a book and walking. That's all I was doing. I wasn't even talking. And I'm gonna kill them so badly. They're so lucky killing me is illegal. Because you don't mess with me. That's the thing. You just don't. So whoever guy comes next, I'm sorry for you. I'm gonna kick your balls. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys so much for watching this other random vlog. And I hope I get to see you guys soon. Bye.